guys and welcome to my statement. This is why millionaires have wor worry sometimes about they will how they will whether they will squander their money. Yes, this sounds unlikely, but it can happen. Let's just say there's this is a man. My finger is a man called Frank. He walks down the road and enters a lottery ticket and this is the lottery ticket. Fred rubs the rough lottery ticket and let's say these are three a million pound numbers on the lottery, a lottery ticket which was the budget of the lottery. So essentially Frank just won lots and lots of money. Except, since he had a big taste for the high life, he went and squandered all his money doing like, oh, they, those are very fancy clothes, I'll buy them. Whoopee! Ooh, that's a nice looking limo, I'll buy that. Whoopee! Ooh, that's a one million dollar, that's a one thousand dollar refrigerator, I'll buy that. Whoopee! Lovely VR headset, I'll buy that, whoopee, and you get it. He squandered all his money and now he is broke. And so they repossess, and so the repossessed guys came and repossessed all his property. Except for his house, he fully bought that quite a while ago. But all of his excess properties. Yes, and now we needed to go back to work again to earn more money. So what's the moral of this lesson? Exactly. So, the moral of the lesson, don't squander your money. Spend it wisely. Now that was that, now that very dumb millionaire ended up going back to work for three years time until he had enough money to pay his, all, all his bills and the filling throughout his life. So, if you are lucky enough to come into money, what do you think you should do with it? This is the quiz. Okay. Do you lend it, spend it, give it away? Or do you save it? Or do you... Like, do you... Uh, yes. Invest do, it? Do you get, do you get the picture? Do you like A, go, out, go around and spend your money unaware of how much you're spending? B, you give, no, you give half of it to charity. That's a good deed. Always do a good deed for yourself so you can pay your bills and live your life. C, do you spend your money with big gaps in between it like for rentals of property and paying your bills I wear and also like some stuff that millionaires have aware of how much you're spending and stop spending most of it for the expensive products and wait for them to get less expensive that's called budgeting exactly or do you put it all in a bank account and save it for a time when you really need it? Like when you're getting low on money, you can access your bank account and gain a million dollars. But anyway, that is, and anyway, what is the right answer about why millionaires? Need to be careful about how much money they're spending. The correct answer was C. The reason why is because you need to be aware of how much money you're spending. Like, just look out for how much money you're spending. And also, if they have like the electric till. 
it's like this sometimes. Now that will that will tell you if bef well before you pay. Well, you definitely have electronic tills and house and co op. Those sorts of electric tills. Yeah, it's about budgeting. Yeah, and, and basically knowing yeah. how much yeah. things cost, and even in your budget, you can also budget to give some money on a regular basis to charity if it's affordable and doesn't put you into major debt so you can still do the right thing while still being able to live your life comfortably and also budgeting for putting some of your your money away for a rainy day or for future investments such as property or a new car or a fancy holiday or house renovations or anything like that but I think we've got a good a good message across about being wise with money and it's a good life lesson isn't it anyway it's time to end the video give it a like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video and remember don't squander all your money. It's not worth it. Click right here on this video. It's about to disappear. Click it while you have the chance. Click it. Still here? Click it. Oh, I did warn you. It's gone now. Bye bye.